Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan, and today we've got a tool review by one of my, actually it's one of my favorite companies. Funny name, the uh, name of the company is Weha, German made, and they make uh, a lot of tools for electricians, but it's, it's all very fine stuff, and it's uh, German engineered and most of the time German made. And let's pay attention to the box first. It's a little mini toolbox, but it does have a stacking capability. It's got spring-loaded catches here on the side. So see, it'll stack right on to this one and stack, stack, stack. So that's pretty interesting. If you want to stack up your Weha stuff, it comes with uh, a carrying case. So what tool did I get? Let's check it out. Now I will say this. Uh, when I am doing electrical work and if I'm standing in front of a panel and connecting wires, it's not just one or two wires. Sometimes I have a few hundred wires to connect and getting old as we all do at the end of the day, your wrist, you can just, you can just feel that your wrist is just killing you from landing wires all day. So let's see what we got. Um, it's their electric screwdriver and it's pretty unique. It's got some. It's got some really good features, and it's got one that I'm not crazy about, but we're going to talk about it. Uh, let's look at what it comes with. First of all, it's got the nice case. It's got the laser-cut high-density foam, and it's tailored and crafted in a very German-like manner. Uh, it's got a USB um, charger. It does come with two batteries, and it takes a standard, oh, what number is that, 18500 um, um, battery. So if you need batteries for it, just go get get yourself one of those, the 3.7 volt, and you're you're good to go. But it's got a nice little USB charger, USB wall adapter if you want to go that way. And I was I was impressed that they actually gave you two batteries. A lot of times you buy something like this and. You know, if it was uh, like a Milwaukee, tool only, no batteries, no charger, nothing. Um, let's take a look at the tool. You'll notice it's uh, very screwdriver size. I mean, it's a little big for a screwdriver, but it's uh, it's about the right size for a screwdriver. And we've got, they've got what they call a minimum and a maximum switch. I'm going to show you what that's all about. And uh, I don't know whether you guys remember the old... DeWalt kinetic screwdrivers. Um, I, I used to love those things. Um, you'd, you'd put them in a, you know, you get your screwdriver started on your screw and you just kind of flick your wrist and it would tighten or you flick your wrist this way and it would loosen. It was a kind of a kinetic thing. This uses this collar right here for loosening and tightening. And the battery just goes in right here in the back. And you see it's offset, but there's a contact right here, spring-loaded contact. It makes contact on the periphery of that um, plate in there to, to keep contact with the battery. It is O-ringed. Uh, let's talk about uh, resistance and things like that. This is an IP54, so it's pretty low. It'll take a little bit of splash. It's, it's dust-proof, but it's not submersible. Sorry, guys. Uh, battery drops in. Screw the back on. Uh, I don't have a scale, but it's not not terribly heavy. Um, it is lighted. I'm probably going to blow you out. You ready? Bing. Okay. Just give it a little flick, and it'll uh, it'll hit your your light. So it can be used as a flashlight, and it goes out after a period of time, as so. And let's talk about the tips. They give you a full assortment of tips, and it's got some uh, really good ones. You know, it's got some that. I've, uh, you know, you look for them and you can only get them through like Klein, Weha, maybe uh, some of the Nipex uh, um, uh, screwdriver sets are going to have these types. Uh, let me find one. Here it is there. Now, that's not your average. Just get it in camera there. That's not your average Phillips. That's the combination Phillips and Flathead. And that's what you find... This is a, uh, what is this? This is a Telemakum cheap uh, overload block. But see those gold screws down there? So they're a combination number two Phillips and a flat? Well, that's what that tip's for. It's exactly what that tip's for. And it only fits in uh, two ways instead of four. 
but it's a nice solid feel on the screws. All right, let's uh, slide this out of the way and talk about the shank of these things. They just pop in, that's it. And you're forward and reverse right there. Um, that's on maximum. And when you're on max, you'll see when you, when you do flick it, you get a blink. When you first start, it's alerting you that you're on maximum and you can strip a screw. Let's put it on minimum. You don't get a blink. Let's go back to max. So you get the double blink on startup. So it gives you a visual warning saying, hey, you're on max. You're, you're risking stripping the screw. Let's go back to minimum and just go forward with it. Now I'm just gonna, it's, they say it's between 0.4 and one Newton meters of torque. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stall it right here. And you see the RPM, it's spinning. It's, but as soon as I stop it, look at the speed it runs there. So it's kind of a two speed thing. As soon as it senses, as soon as it senses a, um, a little bit of resistance, The electronics in there are pretty darn smart, and that only works in the forward direction. In reverse, it doesn't care. If you're backing out a screw, you want as much torque as you can get. But when you're putting it in, you you kind of want to, uh, you know, you don't want the danger of stripping these little screws and these things. Okay, so we're going to run it down. And now I'm, it's stalled, so I don't. You know, I don't have any, I'm not putting any more torque with the, with the motor, but I can use the whole thing as a screwdriver. It's not like it's going to slip. I just grab the handle and finish my torque there. That way I don't, I don't ever worry about stripping out a screw. And finish by hand. And finish by hand. And finish by hand. So, nice. All right. So these tips are pretty cool. They come with, uh, I've got a couple of Robertson drives here. There's two sizes of Robertsons, the square drive. I have a number two and a number one plain Phillips. I have the, the combo driver, Phillips flat. Looks like a number two and a number one. I have a, I don't know whether flat blades are even numbered. I've got the two different sizes there. This one, we call this one a T and B driver for Thomas and Betts. That's for like the Thomas and Betts terminal strips. So that on my regular screwdrivers, if I see that tip, that's called a T and B driver. And this is just a standard, uh, like a panel driver, but very slim and uh, fits in here great. And you're gonna say, wow, that's a hex shank. Well, guess what guys? There's an off-the-shelf quarter-inch spindle. Sorry. And it's so close, I thought I was making a mistake. I actually, <laughs> I measured it. And uh, those Germans, I tell you, this is six millimeter on the dot. And then everyone knows this is a quarter-inch drive. So if you take your six millimeter and do a quick conversion, that's 0.236 inches. And you go here to one of these, that's quarter inch any day of the week, 250. And so it's just not quite enough to get in there. Now, which is probably a good thing, because here's the next bit of uh, um, um, selling points on this screwdriver. These are 1,000 volt rated. So essentially, I could go in, this is insulated, and the handle is insulated. I could pop this in here and go in and work on a, on a panel up to a thousand volts safely. And the only thing that's going to get heated is that tip, you know, wear your hot gloves and all your PPE and your, all your protection and everything, but you can actually work on a hot panel, uh, with this, uh, with this screwdriver. All right. Um, uh, I, there's not much else I can say about it. I wanted to do a review. You can see it's a little dirty. I wanted to do a review after I've actually had time to use it. And I, I, I did some panel work the other day, had a couple of VFDs, I had a, a couple of motor starters, I had some, just some wires to land on a plain old terminal strip, you know, and uh, that the little high-low is wonderful for, for taking stuff down 
um, on the terminal strips even. Um, these are the type of terminal blocks we use. These go on a den mounting rail, and you see those just go into the, into the, uh, right down into that strip. And see, that's what you get there. And I didn't, I didn't uh, strip that thing. Those, I'll, get, I'll show you, a, uh, you know, a profile of that. That screw is tiny. It's probably a number, I don't know. That might be a number six screw, but it's it's pretty darn small. And this is what you're doing inside inside of that terminal strip. That little thing tighten up. And that leaves you just enough where you can just give it a little turn and you're done. All right. So if you've got a lot of panel work to do, if you've got a lot of wires to land, an electric screwdriver is a wonderful thing. So I thought I would use it first before I reviewed it. The runtime is good um, and, it, and you get an extra battery on top of that. But I, I landed probably about 80 or 100 wires in that panel and this thing didn't have, show any signs of giving up. So I didn't even have to get into the second battery. So uh, this is not a paid endorsement in any way. I, this is bought and paid for. I am nothing more than a satisfied customer. I just like to know about tools when they come out and do an honest review on them and tell you what I do like and tell you what I don't like. So the only, the only drawback it has is it won't take the, you know, the U S counterpart of spindles where you could just plug anything you want in there. That's a Phillips, you know, with the, with a removable tip and that's kind of a long panel driver to get down deep in a panel. And that would be a, a wonderful thing if that would go in there, but, that's as loose as a goose. I, I'm afraid I'd mess that up. And then this doesn't fit in the screwdriver at all. So you are stuck with the Weeha tips, but it's probably just as well because of the voltage rating. Uh, the only way it's voltage rated is if you use those. So um, I appreciate you guys watching and I uh, hope you found this informative.